Right now at 5, how USPS drivers are staying safe during the winter months. And the Chippewa Falls School District adds a referendum to the ballot in hopes of more funding. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now at 5. I'm Emily Brown. Ken is on assignment. We'll get the shovels and snow blowers ready because we've got a lot of snow headed our way. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Greg Barnhart on when we can expect it. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of snow, but the bigger impact I think eventually with the snow is gonna be the wind and the blowing and drifting. So regardless of the amount that we go through, the bigger problem is gonna be that wind and blizzard type conditions as you go into Iowa, whiteout conditions potentially in our area. But for right now, it's the calm. We have no snow going on, not even close yet. Temperature is pretty much typical for this time of year, but we do have the alert day once again for that winter storm. It is a pretty major one approaching the area. The snow and blowing snow will start late tonight and then continue through Saturday. We might even see some drifting through Sunday. Worst conditions probably south and east of I-90, but everyone's going to see some of this. And there's your winter storm warnings and the blizzard warnings out to the west there in the open country. Once again, we're going to see 5 to 13, 5 probably closer to Ladysmith, 13 as you go further south to southern west Wisconsin. But the wind is going to be the story, so don't concentrate so much on the amount as it doesn't take much to blow around. Current temperatures overall pretty typical, but a little bit cooler to the west. Big picture shows you can see where the front is on that map. There's the feel like temperatures. The wind chills out there are already dropping, and that's the front right there. The low is to the south that will begin to push up. Overall, we're going to see temperatures here pretty standard for this time of year. The evening hour cloud cover pretty quiet, but once again, the quiet before the storm. So if you've got any last preparations, this is the time to do it. Get ready for snow coming for the Friday morning commute, and it just goes downhill after that. All right. Thank you, Greg. <coughs> Well, the snow won't be stopping the Postal Service from delivering your mail. USPS is working around the clock to make sure you get your deliveries. News 8 Now's Michael Germain spoke with one post officer, office driver who shares how he's staying safe during the winter months. Good evening, Michael. Emily, I spoke with one USPS driver who's been working here for the past three years. Now, he says that with the winter months can bring far more challenges for drivers. But for me, if it's raining, I'm getting wet. If it's cold, I'm cold. If it's hot, I'm hot. <laughs> the biggest challenge of the USPS workers is, of course, the weather. Fern Weisensell has been delivering mail since 2020. Previously, Weisensell came from the service and retail industry where he was looking for something with more steady hours and benefits. Being able to take that service background and be able to you know, help out my customers and provide a service to them. As he packs everything into his truck and heads out for the day. Pack everything into the truck, all my mail, all my parcels, and start my day and I'm out there. With more snow and ice expected to come our way, it can make things difficult for USPS drivers. Icy sidewalks definitely make things a lot more difficult for us. You have to take smaller steps and be more aware of your surroundings and know where your next footstep's going to take you. The cold is definitely something to be aware of. You have to dress appropriately, wear plenty, you know, wear enough layers that you don't want to get too hot, but definitely don't let yourself get too cold. Weisensell says he prepares the night before for when a snowstorm is expected. Post office does provide us grippers that we can slip on over our boots that have the wires on the bottom of them. Whether sunshine or snow, the job can bring many challenges with just one exception. In my time with the post office that there has been too much ice on the road where we get a message from the office telling us, hey, come back, stop delivering, road conditions are not safe. Now he also adds that his favorite part of the job is being able to help community members and other people on a day-to-day -day basis. Reporting live in La Crosse, Michael Germain, News 8 Now. All right, thank you, Michael. The Chippewa County Sheriff isn't cooperating with a county investigation into his conduct. That's according to the county board. The board last year hired...
claims that Sheriff Travis Hakes sent in inappropriate messages to a new employee and was dishonest in the role. According to board meeting minutes, Hakes hasn't appeared for an in-person interview with the board's investigator. The board has voted for the investigator to list the sheriff as uncooperative. Any further information from Hakes now won't be considered in the investigation's final report. Voters in Chippewa Falls will see a referendum question on the ballot this April. The Chippewa Falls School District announcing Wednesday the placement of an operational referendum question on the April 2nd ballot. The school district says the board agreed to the placement unanimously. Voters are being asked to approve seven and a half million dollars over three years to cover operational costs. The district says they've exhausted their quote ability to reduce costs without negatively impacting impacting instruction, enrichment programs, staff retention, and facility maintenance. Well, Wednesday we showed you the LAX Food Hall project is dead. Today, Food Hall ownership is pushing back against its former property management company. Food Hall owners posted on Facebook Tuesday that Great River Property Management for months had locked them out of their location on the 500 block of J Street. Property management says it's filing to evict the food hall because they haven't paid rent since October and owe $26,000. Food hall co-owner Zach Switzer says building infrastructure isn't up to code and says management isn't holding up its end of the, end of the lease when it comes to building repairs. Switzer sent us a portion of the lease agreement. It says the food hall had the opportunity to inspect the leased premises and accepts in as is condition. Later, it says the company leasing the space should maintain the building structure and electrical. At the same time, the management company shall not be required to make any repairs on the premises. The food hall plans to represent themselves in court. Well, we're just four days out from the Iowa caucus, the first primary in the 2024 presidential campaign. Former President Donald Trump is well ahead in the polls, leaving the real race to be the race to finish second. Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis have gone hard after each other as they scramble to be the Republican alternative to Trump. Turnout at the caucuses will be key, and with multiple feet of snow already on the ground and record temperatures expected below zero on caucus night, the campaigns are working hard to make sure voters show up. Well, just ahead, former President Donald Trump spoke his mind in court today against a judge's wishes. What he said as his civil fraud trial comes to a close. During the New Year's sale at PM Sleep Center, save up to $600 on select Beautyrest Black and Black Hybrid mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any, no annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Huga, a calm, comfortable time with people you love. Often enjoyed with a good book, a warm blanket, and a crackling fire. Let La Crosse Fireplace Company help create this feeling in your home. 
Choose a heat and glow fireplace in gas, wood, or pellet. Stay warm and cozy with the heat and glow fireplace from La Crosse Fireplace Company because your place is by the fire. During the New Year's sale at PM Sleep Center, save up to $600 on select Beautyrest Black and Black Hybrid mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving La Crosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. With closing arguments underway in his New York civil fraud case Thursday, former President Donald Trump made his case directly to the public. Inside the courtroom, Trump, who wanted to give a closing argument himself, spoke briefly. He called the proceedings, quote, a fraud on me before the judge cut him off. New York Attorney General Letitia James brought the case, accusing Trump and his company of financial fraud by inflating the values of its real estate properties in order to get better loans. The state is seeking $370 million in penalties. The case could end up barring Trump from doing business in New York. The state's argument is very clear here, which is we have put on plenty of proof that the former president inflated his assets by a huge amount in order to enrich himself and his family. The judge in the case already ruled that Trump engaged in fraud before the trial started. The big issue that remains for him is to decide what, if any, damages to award. Trump disregarded limits imposed by the judge during his comments in the courtroom. He used them to maintain he did nothing wrong. A ruling is expected by the end of the month. Hunter Biden headed back to court this afternoon. The president's son is in Los Angeles for his arraignment on tax charges. A tentative trial date was set for June 20th. Danya Backus reports from the courthouse. Hunter Biden's legal troubles brought him back to court in California to be arraigned on federal tax charges. Thursday, he pleaded not guilty to three felony and six misdemeanor offenses. A plea deal to avoid prison fell apart last summer and was followed by an indictment accusing the president's son of a four-year scheme to avoid paying at least $1.4 million in taxes. Prosecutors say he used that money to fund a lifestyle that included drugs and alcohol. Hunter Biden has talked openly about his drug addiction during the time period covered in the indictment, and he admits he was irresponsible with finances in those darker times. His court appearance comes a day after he paid a surprise visit to Capitol Hill. Anything you want to say to the committee? His arrival interrupted a hearing where lawmakers were weighing whether to hold him in contempt of Congress for defying a subpoena. He has accused right-wing lawmakers of trying to destroy his reputation. They ridiculed my struggle with addiction, they belittled my recovery, and they have tried to dehumanize me, all to embarrass and damage my father. In the California tax case, Hunter Biden's attorney says the special counsel who handled the case bowed to Republican pressure. If convicted, he could face up to 17 years behind bars. Donya Back is CBS News, Los Angeles. At the House hearings, two committees voted in favor of holding the president's son in contempt, sending the matter to the full House. Coming up, it's the end of an era. We'll explain why a six-time Super Bowl winning coach has chosen to part ways with his team. And if it's possible, stay home. That would be a good choice for the next couple of days, all the way through Saturday, as a major winter storm impacts the area with snow, blowing snow, drifting snow, and much colder, dangerous wind chills. I'll break all that down coming up on your first foreign weather update after the break. When the insurance company sees Bygoff and Rody on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. It's your life, but it's our fight. And they know that if they're not being fair with us, they will find themselves in court, and that's how Bygoff and Rody gets results for its clients. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to Huge Selection and Savings. Who wants free furniture? This month only, one lucky Wesco shopper will have their entire furniture order refunded. That's right, get your entire furniture order refunded. Will it be you? Plus, everyone gets up to 20% off in select departments store-wide. Did I mention free furniture? This month only, one lucky Wesco shopper will have their entire furniture order refunded. Wesco and Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup are always free. Tavin Payton sent you. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. It's not an I thing, Dad, it's a we thing. Get a large two-topping take-and-bake pizza for just $10.99. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Did you touch the thermostat? 
Did you turn it off? Of course not. Did somebody fiddle with the thermostat? Dude, it's 85 degrees. 85? Do you have any idea what a couple degrees will do to our gas bill? Why is it so hot here? Someone turned up the heat. God. What do you think you're doing? I like to sleep with my window open. You are not supposed to touch the thermostat. It's time for more fun moments at Fanati's. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Hi. Come on in. Take a look around. Fanati's has so many treats, it'll make you feel like a kid in a candy store. Look at all the candy kids. Or a mom. And I'll play candy. Or a grandma. You guys got some awesome treats today. Hope you had a lot of fun. Brought to you locally by Fanati's Nut and Chocolate Shop in downtown La Crosse. <laughs> hey, uh, you should try new Robitussin Honey Medi Soothers for long-lasting cough and sore throat relief. Uh, try new Robitussin lozenges with real medicine and find your voice. You know, we really need to work on your people skills. If you've been in a serious accident, you need a serious legal team. By Goff and Rody is the Western Wisconsin powerhouse. Attorneys who won't settle for less than you deserve. Call By Goff and Rody. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Well, it's the end of an era for Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. In a press conference Thursday, Belichick announced he will not be returning as the Patriots head coach next season. The 71-year-old led the team to a record six Super Bowl titles in 24 seasons. But the Patriots had a dismal season last year and finished with a 4-13 record. Patriots owner Robert Kraft and Belichick spoke about the mutual decision. There's so many fond memories and, and uh, thoughts that I you know, think about the Patriots and, and uh, I'll always be a Patriot. I look forward to coming back here. Uh, but at this time, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to move on. And uh, I look forward and excited for the future. Like a good marriage, a successful head coach owner relationship requires a lot of hard work. And I'm very proud that our partnership lasted for 24 years. This year, Belichick became the third coach in NFL history to reach 300 career regular season wins, joining Hall of Famers Don Shula and Jord Hollis. Well, it was nice waking up to a snow-covered city this morning, and that's going to be the case again tomorrow morning, only there's going to be lots, lots more of it. Let's send it over to Greg on how much we expect to get. Well, we had a little bit last night with that system, about 1.7 at the airport, but this one bears a lot more because of the wind with this associated, and it's a much stronger system. So once again, we got the, the winter storm. We have the alert tonight, late tonight through Saturday for snow, but especially blowing and drifting. And I can't emphasize that enough. That really is the bigger issue on this. Worst conditions probably as you go further south, but everyone's going to get some of this. So we look at check once again the alerts winter storm warnings in the pink. You have blizzard warnings down there. The combination of wind and open country winter weather advisories north of an Eau Claire to Ladysmith. That's just because of lesser amounts of the snow, but still you got lake effect snow further north up too on the back side of this too. So there's a lot going on as you wake up tomorrow morning. We got a little bit of snow. I think Prairie du Chien will start seeing that after midnight. The rest of the areas will start seeing that band begin to approach probably closer to three to four. Most of this will be light, but I think by the time we get to morning commute, especially further south you go, you might start getting moderate snow rates beginning to push up towards it. Overall, we'll see that through the morning hours, maybe about 9 to 10. Really, that's when we're going to start seeing, as you see a lot of blue, moderate snow begin to pick up. We might see a low, a little bit low during the late morning hours before this low begins to push up and then push another band back through. So we'll continue to see the moderate snowfall throughout the afternoon. Evening hour, notice the temperatures, they do get up to the middle 20s in most areas, but look out to the west by the time we get to Friday afternoon. 13 in Mankato, a sign that things are going to be getting cooler as we go towards Friday night. As we go through Friday night, it'll begin to be more just light snow with occasional moderate, and then as we go through Friday night into Saturday, it'll start tapering off as you see less than the blue. Story is the wind will still be continuing, but notice the temperatures too. They'll start falling as we go through Saturday morning by the time you wake up. Still snow, especially as you go further east. 
but the winds will be the problem. And notice the temperatures further west. Now we're down to four in Van Cato. The temperatures will not climb go Saturday. They're actually going to fall during the day as the colder air gets here. Snow amounts through tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Most of it will be down to the south, two to four inches. A lot of the other areas may see one to two, so we're not seeing a lot, but that's when the snow starts picking up around 7 to 8 a.m., and that's where we're going to see more of it. Through the rest of tomorrow, we're talking about snow from about 7 a.m. to about 4 to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Two to four inches, maybe four to six locally in some of the higher mounts, and as you go further south, that's where you could get more four to eight. That's where it's going to start piling up. And then as we go through the wind speed, won't be as much of a factor in the morning hours. Be some there, but it's really in the afternoon when the wind starts picking up, and that's when the blowing and drifting will be the main story as we go through Friday afternoon. Notice the wind speeds out in open country, 20 to 25 out of the north. These are sustained, so gusts will be potentially 30 to 40 miles per hour. Less of wind as you go further north, but overall still going to be quite breezy. Once we get past that, the wind chill is the second thing, the third thing that we're going to be looking at, and that really comes in a factor coming into Saturday morning. This is about 2 a.m. You're in the single digits right now. The wind chill gets worse as the day approaches. Noon, we're now looking at 10 to 15 below. Once again, the snow will be quitting. The winds will still be blowing out there, and they'll be drifting around. But notice the wind chills by the time we get to Saturday night, 20 to 25 and potentially 30 plus as you go further south. So. Dangerous wind chills. So the one thing to note as as the winds and the snow begin to end, the wind chill is going to be the factor too. So that's why driving conditions even Saturday. Overall snow amounts greater than 12 inches. We're pretty much right on the border of getting 12. It's a better shot as you go further south. That's why we're thinking right around La Crosse, probably about 8 to 11 inches, potentially higher as you go further south. As you go up towards Lady Smith, probably closer to 5 inches. So is that what we're looking at for? Breaking that down, here's a quick breakdown. There's your temperatures we're looking at. Wind chills, note the wind chills on Saturday, Saturday night. That is the key to everything going on. And the snow and the wind really becomes a blowing and drifting towards Saturday as we go on. So that's what we're looking at for the alert day for those two days. Otherwise, temperatures then begin to get cool for the whole entire week. We might approach 15, maybe some areas get colder to 20 to 25 below come Sunday and Monday. So that's the key. This is going to be a big change. We yeah. see this type of temperatures typically in January for about a few days. So it's yeah. not unusual, but we just haven't seen it for a while. Yeah, and I did mention that I did want to go skiing this weekend and you recommended not to go Saturday uh, and maybe not Sunday either. It's going to be cold Sunday yeah. with that wind chill still going okay, on. Okay, maybe I'll hold off. <laughs> All right, thank you, Greg. Well, one last chance to see the crown where items from the iconic TV series will be displayed before they're sold at auction. Friday on News 8 Now this morning, we'll be talking with Lewis Pullman, the environmental and sustainability planner for the city of La Crosse, about the upcoming sustainability workshop and what it means to the community. Have a great Thursday night. More News 8 Now is after the break. The Board Store Home Improvements. Everyday low prices on bathroom remodels for seniors and families. Contact us today for a prompt free estimate. Where's the best place for local fresh quality meat? The Holman Locker and Meat Market, of course. Purchase a minimum of 25 pounds of 90% lean ground beef for $4.79 per pound or 85% lean for $4.49 per pound. Shop local at your Holman Locker and Meat Market and much, much more. It's the January clearance event at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. It's where you'll find incredible savings on closeouts, floor samples, and overstocks. Sofas from Flex Steel and Smith Brothers. Casual dining from John Thomas and Cannondale. Bedrooms by Canal Dover and Daniels Amish and the area's best selection of quality leather from Stressless and Lazy Boy. It's all in stock, ready for immediate delivery, and all at real savings. Hurry in for the best selection during the January clearance. It's on now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. News 8 Now and the Co-op Credit Union are taking part in Chase the Chill. Chase the Chill is a project across North America that provides warm clothing to people in need. Scarves, hats, and gloves are hung on trees in parks with notes attached to them, letting people know they can take them. Co-op Credit Union and our community are conducting our own Chase the Chill campaign from December through February. Together, we can keep our community warm this winter. Donations will be accepted at the Co-op Credit Union location in Alaska.
Holman Locker and Meat Market, your place for fresh, quality, local meat. Now's the time to stock up with our winter freezer filler bundle. Call and order yours today. Eat healthy, shop local at your Holman Locker and Meat Market, and much, much more. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. From a replica of Queen Elizabeth's coronation gown to a reproduction of the Gold State Coach, costumes, props, and sets from the award-winning royal drama The Crown are on display this week before being sold at auction. More than 450 items from the Netflix show are on public display at Bonhams in London. One of the items for sale is the black off-the-shoulder frock worn by Elizabeth Debicki in season five and inspired by Princess Diana's so-called revenge dress. That has a price tag of 8,000 to 12,000 pounds. One of the auction house's directors says the sale is receiving international attention. So we're seeing interest from around the world and it's, it's a show loved by millions around the world. So it's, it's got sort of um, international appeal. This is, you know, this is modern popular culture um, at its absolute best. And so I think, you know, it'd be fascinating to see where these items go to. The pieces will be on display until auction on February 8th. We'll have one more check on your forecast when we come back. Ashley's New Year's sale is extended. It's your last chance to shop Hot Buys for every room of your home. And right now you can shop new collections with 0% interest through January 2029 in-store only. Celebrate and save today. Only at Ashley. Now my doctor says I need an MRI. But where do I go? They're so expensive. Sensible MRI costs a few hundred, not thousands. You could fill your fridge for a year with what you save. We can get you in the next day. Think of what you could do with the time you'd save. What do you have to lose? At Sensible MRI, you choose the time, you save the money. And you rest easy having your doctor refer you to Sensible MRI. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Cold weather and winter winds remind us that old windows and doors are not our friends. New windows and doors, expertly installed by certified installers, bring comfort, convenience, energy savings, and a great new look. Begin now in choosing just the right windows for your home. Order now and avoid the inevitable price increase in the new year. No worries about missing a promotion. The board store offers you the best possible price every day and any day. Contact us online or visit our showroom for a prompt free estimate on windows and doors or other home improvements. So that no matter what mess you brought into this church today, no matter what addiction and, and what struggle, no matter how many times you've doubted God or questioned God, that because of Jesus Christ, God's not holding it over your head. Instead, there is this amazing grace, there is this unconditional love that you and I can say, God doesn't just put up with us. God, God loves us. Join Pastor Mike Novotny each Sunday. Watch Time of Grace on Channel 8, WKBT. Ashley's New Year's mattress sale is extended with 0% interest through January 2029 on in-store mattress purchases. Get 50% off select Sealy mattresses or 25% off select Ashley Sleep mattresses only at Ashley. All right, uh, I showed this before, but let's show it again. The breakdown of the snow and the wind. There it is. We'll have the heaviest snow Friday, Friday night. Blowing and drifting Friday night and Saturday as the snow ends. Just begin, there's your alert days. We will see some chilly, dangerous wind chills going into Saturday, probably 10 to 20 below, and the cold temperatures continue Sunday. Could still be issues on roads with the drifting. So mm -hmm. once again, this could go all the way through Sunday. Definitely bundle up, definitely take notice, and delay travel if you can. And it seems like it's a good weekend to stay in. Yes. All right, we'll see you at 6.